what's going on everybody check out this video on WWE 2k14 and in this video we're gonna spotlight 30 years of Wrestlemania and it's the Hulkamania runs wild portion of it so you guys check it out it's definitely one of the funnest ones and I'll be quiet so you guys can check this out it's just the entrances so enjoy it now if Big John Studd is body slam, he will lose $15,000. However, if Andre the Giant is body slammed, he must retire. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, weighing 367 pounds, Big John Studd. Big John Studd putting up $15,000 of his own money to prove a point, to send a clear message that there's only room for one giant in WWE, and that's Big John Studd. Bobby Heenan would love to go down in history as the manager of the man who retired Andre the Giant. From Grenoble in the French Alps, weighing 476 pounds, the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre the Giant looking very confident tonight. He better be confident, JR, because if he does not slam Big John Studd, he'll be forced to retire tonight. WWE fans around the world may be getting their last look at Andre the Giant. Seems like a lopsided bet to me, King. I mean, $15,000 against a man's career. Well, Andre was willing to do it. He feels confident that he can slam Big John Studd. This is the main event to be held inside of a steel cage for the WWE Championship. The winner of this match is the first man to exit the cage, either through the door or over the top. Accompanied by Bobby the Brain Heenan, introducing the challenger. From Atlantic City, New Jersey, Weighing 468 pounds, King Kong Bundy. This contest is for the Intercontinental Championship 
and it is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Miss Elizabeth from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 239 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Randy Macho Man Savage. Joe's looking good, and Elizabeth is looking good. And listen to the ovation here in Detroit. Oh, they love the Macho Man in the Motor City. It's been just about a year and two months since Macho Man literally stole the title from Tito Santana in Boston. I am so tired of hearing about how Macho Man stole the title. The man is a world-class athlete. He won the title and has defended it for over a year. Give Savage some credit, JR. And his opponent, accompanied by Miss Elizabeth, Randy Macho Man Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage making his way to the ring with the lovely Miss Elizabeth. Uh, we're going to see history made here tonight as one of these two men will be crowned the undisputed WWE Champion. Macho Man has got to be thinking about one thing and one thing only tonight in the main event of WrestleMania 4, it's all or nothing. You can feel the tension right now. This is what it has all come down to. Savage and DiBiase for the WWE Championship. Hogan, yeah. 
see you no more. My true man is coming from. Yeah, you're right. You don't know anything about the macho man, Randy Savage, and where I'm coming from. Because it's mind-boggling to you, yeah. How one man can make it to the top all by myself. No pukesters helping me to the left. And no pukesters helping me to the right. Didn't need them then. Don't need them now. And another person I don't need. He's Elizabeth Eater, yeah. Cause I'm the champion by myself. All by myself. You don't know where I'm coming from, Hulk Hogan. It's Sunday afternoon. But I know where you're coming from, yeah. I know everything about Hulk Hogan, yeah. I know what makes you tick, yeah. And you've got the audacity, yeah, to see that in WrestleMania 5, that Hulkamania is gonna survive. You don't know me, Hulk Hogan. You don't know where I'm coming from. After I beat you with that big elbow and pin you one, two, three, guaranteed victory. I'm gonna tell you and all the pukesters out there one last time before the Sunday afternoon. Hokamania is dead. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, the WWE Champion, Macho Man, Randy Savage. This is what we've all been waiting for. The Mega Powers will explode tonight at WrestleMania 5. Miss Elizabeth saying that she will be here tonight to support both men. How is she gonna do that? There he is, JR. Oh, and what a champion he has been this past year. Winning the title one year ago at WrestleMania 4 here in Atlantic City and coming back tonight to proudly defend the WWE Championship that he has defended all year long. And approaching the ring, Miss Elizabeth. Miss Elizabeth about to make her entrance. She will have to go to a neutral corner. Yeah, what a gold digger she is, JR. I know exactly what she's gonna do. She's gonna go with whoever wins. Miss Elizabeth has been put into a terribly awkward situation. Let's not make things worse than they already are, King. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, Hulk Hogan. Listen to this place explode. Everyone on their feet to greet that man, Hulk Hogan. This guy is so underhanded. He wouldn't step up to Macho Man face to face and ask for a title match. He had to go after Macho's woman. How much lower can you sink than to go after your best friend's woman? Well, you're entitled to your own opinion, King, as is everyone. Listen, Macho Man won the WWE Championship in the biggest tournament in WWE history, and Hogan just laid in the weeds and thought of a devious plan to distract Macho, to steal his manager, steal his woman, to get Macho's mind off of what he is, and that's the WWE Champion. This 
is the main event of WrestleMania 6. It is scheduled for one fall, and it is title for title. Introducing first, weighing 275 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, the Ultimate Warrior. Listen to the ovation for the Ultimate Warrior. And here he comes. He's running to the ring. I think that's a mistake. He should be conserving his strength right here. He's facing the challenge of his life, JR. Well, you may have a point there, King. However, the Warrior looks to be in great shape. And this crowd is going bananas. 67,000 plus have waited for this moment, JR. And it's going to be interesting as the crowd seems split 50 50. It's a toss up, the same as the match. And his opponent, from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the WWE Champion, Hulk Hogan. And there he is, Hulk Hogan, the WWE Champion. It is deafening in here. The crowd response is unbelievable. I'm not even going to try to talk over this crowd, JR. Champion against champion. Title for title. This is what it's all about. This is what has brought 67,000 strong to WrestleMania 6, and they are ready. Both men are in tremendous physical condition, JR. You notice how Hogan took his time coming to the ring? The Warriors already sweating more. Oh, that's a sign, JR. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring, weighing 310 pounds, the WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter. The WWE Champion, Sergeant Slaughter, has turned his back on America. Well, Slaughter reinvented himself, wrote a whole new playbook. If Hogan expects to win this match and the WWE title, he'll have to pull out all the stops. It is easier to keep the title than it is to win it. Hogan will have to dig deep if he expects to defeat Sergeant Slaughter. And introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, weighing 303 pounds, the immortal Hulk Hogan. It's mayhem here in the City of Angels. It's Hulk Hogan. I have never heard an ovation like this for anyone in my life. Hulk Hogan waving old glory as he makes his way to the ring. Looks to be in the best shape of his entire life. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Approaching the ring, 
accompanied by Mr. Perfect from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing 232 pounds, the WWE Champion, Rick Flair. This is what it's all about. The gold is on the line. The WWE Championship, held by Ric Flair, and Macho Man wants it back. Now, if you want to be fair to Flair, you got to be fair and say, that's one heck of a road. Confidence oozing out of the reigning champion, Ric Flair. Introducing the challenger from Sarasota, Florida, weighing 245 pounds, Macho Man, Randy Seven. Listen to this place go crazy. A standing ovation for the Macho Man. Oh, this match is going to make history, JR. All the weeks of humiliation and frustration, all the verbal taunts and the alleged photos of Miss Elizabeth. And now it's all come to this. Ric Flair may have done himself no favors in enraging Macho Man as much as he has. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenger, weighing 505 pounds, Yokozuna. It would seem that the odds would be in favor of that man, Yokozuna. As soon as Yokozuna came out to the ring, the sky became cloudy. That's a bad sign for Bret Hart. The odds makers here in Las Vegas have Yokozuna as the heavy favorite to win. No pun intended. Bret Hart has trained his entire career for. 